G'day Pickles and welcome to another how to. This how to is all about asymmetrical timers. So let's go into the first person. Cool. So what we've got here is two uh, examples of what we would need the asymmetrical timer for. Uh, what happens is, I'll just talk through this quickly, is we've got two etho hop clocks here. One of them has got 64 in and the other one has got 16 in. So this would have the less in. This is what is your short pulse timer and this is your long timer. So what we do is we turn this on and what's going to happen is the 64 items are going to come out of this etho hopper clock, uh, this hopper into this one. Once all the items have left the hopper, it will switch off this torch here, which will then start the clock here. And it's the clock here which will then activate everything. So as we can see, the pickles are going to be lose, leaving soon. And then what will happen is this piston will move over. Here we go. Kick the clock, the dispenser on to get the water out and also pick the mob up and then it turns it off again so that's the short pulse and then this will be off for a long time before this flips over and flips back again so what i've got here for my examples are this is representative of a mob farm so if you wanted a, a flushing farm you want the flush to be shorter than the non-flush and here is an example for a iron farm say you want the mob to have popped up for a short amount of time and then to be down and for an iron farm it'd be roughly 38 seconds so the mob to be not seen by the villagers for longer than it is seen by the villagers effectively um so yeah so this is how it all works what we do now is we get into the build so to build this what you want to do is build one etho hop clock facing this way and this will be our long pulse etho hop clock so we put all that the uh, comparator down for coming off the hoppers there and we put two stones there then we want our redstone here and here and this is what's going to power our piston and here and then you want a redstone block there so the redstone block locks the hopper effectively and then what we want to do then is put in 64 items in here because this is our long pulse and then what we want to do is take a signal off of the hopper clock the etho hopper clock here so we take it off, we need to invert it. And then just check well done. Yep, cool. And then what we then want to do is take the signal off of that. And we will then build another etho hopper clock here. So we want the comparator. You want your two hoppers facing into each other. The comparator reading this hopper clock on this side. Uh, redstone dust here and then your piston will go here and here and then we put our red block there so in here we then want to put our 16 items and then what we need to do to activate all of this is put a block just there so that this activates here so that yeah the signal goes into this block and then powers this redstone here to turn this clock off so that is pretty much how it all works. And then what you need to do for your farms is for your, if you're going to use it for a mob farm or to have a piston, a one signal pulse, we take a signal off of here, put that to three ticks, run your line off here. We then need to invert the signal back again. So we will put a torch on there we then put a repeater there and our piston there. So effectively, once the 16 has gone, it shuts it down again. See, so that's all that done. So that would be for your mob farm. But in order for the dispenser to work, we need two signals. We need an on signal and an off signal. So all we do for that, if we just get rid of this, is we just run two lines out instead of one. So you put another repeater on, on the same delay. And then we put our dispenser in. I'll just go and grab one. Put that in there. And we're going to want to block the water off so it doesn't ruin our redstone. I'll grab a water bucket. And we put our water bucket in here. And we just missed that timer then. So that's going to kick it on instead. So we turn that off. So the next time it goes through, 
Oh, I turned it on again. Silly me. Turn it on. There we go. Off. So that'll be off. And so the next time the clock runs its cycle, this clock will engage, turn the dispenser on, and then once it turns off, it comes back again, it'll turn it off again. We just wait for that to happen. So we're just waiting here for this to activate. If you have any questions, please uh, leave them in the comments below. I will try and answer everything that you ask. So that turns on, see, all the water comes out. And then after the 16 pickles has gone through, turns it off. So that would be your flushing system there. So these are ideal for mob farms, passive mob farms, and hostile mob farms. And this obviously is good for your own farm. But like I say, if you've got any, uh, any questions, please feel free to ask them in the comments below. Uh, I will try and leave as much information in the description below as well. And if you like what you see, please hit the subscribe button. It really helps me out. Hit the thumbs up as well. That helps me out better. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next episode. This has been Asymmetrical Timers.